Hey everyone, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Had a chance to finally see it this past weekend. And did it live up to the hype for me? Yeah, I think it actually, you know, did live up to that hype. I put it somewhere between, well, let's say just give it an 8.5 out of 10. Right in the middle between Volumes 1 and 2. I think this is definitely a better film than Volume 2. But just still not quite there like volume one if i had anything to really gripe about well let's say there are two things that i'd probably gripe about in this film and i don't think there's really any spoilers i'm not going to do any spoilers with this one because again just came out really need to see this one but i don't think the music because i'm a big big fan of the music in volumes one and two but i think this one even though it is good i still think it falls just a little bit short of the very first two films. But I still think it's a great one. I think I will have to add that soundtrack to my collection at some point. Now, my second gripe for this film, again, it's probably a minor one, but it has to do with Gamora. I love Zoe Zaldana as Gamora, but I think she just had a little bit too much of an attitude in this film. You know, I think she was just you know, a little bit too you know, irritable when it came to Star-Lord. Because uh, I really like that whole chemistry between her and Star-Lord in the previous films. But again, it's a minor one. It's just me being old softy and, you know, just liking that, you know, romantic connection between the two of them. But overall, I say, like I said, an 8.5 out of 10 for this film. There's a lot of heart with this film. This is, this is really, I mean, even though, you know, with the trailer and everything... I think it comes off as seeming more like it's a it's a Star Lord film, and yes, there are big aspects for Star Lord's you know his his arc, his story over story arc. But this is a rocket film. There is no doubt about it. This is a rocket raccoon film, and you know diving back into Rocket's origin, you know finally finding out exactly how he came to be, and it really it will definitely pull at your heartstrings because there are things. The torture that this poor creature went through, you know, to become the hero that we all love, known as Rocket Raccoon. Just, it, it really, it, like I said, it, it is a darker film in tone than the previous, than the first two films. But I still think, I, I if you don't at least have just a little bit of a tear in your eye after seeing this film, then I don't know what to tell you because that it definitely pulls at you. Rocket's story is very gripping and very compelling. And I think you're, I'm not, again, I'm not going to go into any more spoilers other than that and really, you know, say, you know, if, if anybody perishes in this film. But I just think that if this is truly the last ride for the Guardians team, I think they're going out with a bang. I, I absolutely do. There are some really good post credit scenes in this film as well that kind of, you know, maybe you look, you look future things that might be down the line. I'm not going to go into detail about those, you know, post credit scenes. But I just think there's there are certain character arcs that still need to be finished. At least for me, I think there are character arcs that aren't quite done yet. And I'm hoping that maybe, fingers crossed, maybe we do get a return of the Guardians at some at some point. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath because this is, you know, James Gunn not directing anymore, you know, any more of these films. We would have to take a new director to do that. But I think overall, I think, again, all the characters are just so compelling and they're so likable. Drax, again, there are so many. He is the comedic relief. Just like he has been in the first two films, Drax is the comedic relief. And I would never have thought that Dave Bautista would be the comic relief for a film, but he is, and he does a really good job. Nebula had some great lines in this as well. I really enjoy the Nebula character, and Mantis. Mantis steals it once again as well for me in so many scenes. I just love how adorable the Mantis character is and how she just, her interaction, with her and Drax, they're just, it's like good cop, bad cop, basically, the two of them, and I really love it i really do and again chris pratt is star lord just phenomenal and there was actually some development for groot's character as well who would think you know development for a tree but there is development for Groot. but this like i said this is an absolute rocket raccoon story through and through hands down can't say enough good things about this film definitely go and see it it's it's a great if this is like i said this is the end for the guardians i think it's a 
good send up. But I'm really hoping that we get to see more with this, you know, with this particular team together. So we'll see though. But eight and a half out of ten for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Go check it out at a theater near you right now. Like, subscribe, and comment if you're a chance, and I will catch you in another episode. Take care. Bye.